and then we're gonna have our Ukrainian feast! Today, we're attempting to make some really delicious Ukrainian food. We spent about three weeks in Ukraine, the longest time I think we had spent in one Eastern European country. So we ate a lot of Ukrainian food. A lot of Ukrainian food a lot of Ukrainian food. And really just eat cabbage rolls like once a week and it's been amazing. And we loved it so much. It brought me back memories of my grandma's cabbage rolls. That's exactly what we're gonna make today. We're making borscht and holopsy, golopsy, golopsy stuffed cabbage rolls. So everything you see in front of us right now is going to be made into delicious Ukrainian food that you're gonna think your babushka made. She's my babushka. <laughs> Let's get to it. This is going to take a really long time. I am really excited. This is going to be a labor of love. So for the borscht, it is a traditional beet soup. So we have beets, potatoes, carrots, bay leaves, garlic, peppercorns. And for the cabbage rolls, we have a mixture of beef and pork, onion, cabbage, tomatoes, and rice. So we're making the cabbage rolls first, and we're going to be blanching our cabbage. So we're going to boil it, put it in an ice bath, and let it drip dry on some paper towels. Ooh. Are we gonna use all these cabbage leaves? We're going to use a lot of it. We haven't been honest. We don't have the right kind of cabbage. You're supposed to use Savoy cabbage, and we couldn't find it. But I remember making cabbage rolls when I was really little, and we couldn't find a Savoy cabbage, so we used a Napa cabbage instead. And like, it turned out fine. So, all the real babushkas out there, if you're watching this, we know we're not doing cabbage rolls the justice it deserves because we don't have the right kind of cabbage. But we're working with what we got. I think this will be fine. Like, is that enough room? You know what I mean? I feel like the white part shouldn't be in there, but I guess At it has all? to be. Well, it has to be. The leaves well, are not big enough. Yeah, I don't know. Cabbage it's, roll. It's pretty thick. Mm -hmm. Again. Neither of us have a Ukrainian grandma. We weren't taught the proper way. We are just simple Americans. I have faith in us that the flavors will turn out well, even if the cabbage doesn't roll up properly. What do you think? I think these are getting too small now. Okay. Sorry. One and a half to two minutes per leaf. I think that's good for now. This was a six dollar cabbage because we went to a fancy grocery store to find a cabbage and it didn't have the right kind of cabbage so we just got an apple cabbage like i said six dollars <laughs> it's pretty expensive oh it smells really good it's good it's weird i i don't think it smells good. i'm a big cabbage fan also so i don't know It's really interesting because we're making Ukrainian food, but cabbage like this just reminds me of China. Yeah, well, I think it's because we have the wrong cabbage. Oh. This is like yeah, totally. way too green. <laughs> like it's gonna be in a tomato sauce. Oh, okay. So we're gonna cut up our onion, start the sauce, that the cabbage rolls bacon. Talk about it. <laughs> like no. put it on No, the... just talk about it. <laughs> we didn't have uh, a grater, so we're guesstimating. <laughs> and we bought shredded carrot. Does that look like a, a full carrot? I think that looks good. <gasps> Teaspoon of sugar. It says to let caramelize. I'm not sure what that's gonna look like. You know, come to think of it, I've never seen carrots really like in the sauce. Maybe we should have cut them more. <laughs> Got tomatoes, water, bay leaf. <laughs> so now we have half an onion one pound of ground beef and pork and a fourth cup of rice and just some salt and pepper. And this is the filling. It smells really good. I think it's time to start rolling. Okay, it's wow. taken us the longest time to get here. We'll go with that much. Yeah. Just like a little bit. It's a meatball. Yes. But why is it in cabbage? I think they just had cabbage. It's like, why is anything traditional because they anywhere. had turkeys for Thanksgiving in America. Exactly. Oh. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. 
you need to tuck. Okay. They're too they're too open. Okay, Think of it like a need some assistance here. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta be like a little envelope. Just tuck in the sides. And then roll. I think Napa cabbage was made for this. What do you think? Napa cabbage. Why do you tuck these in? This is very time consuming. You just tuck it. You just tuck it. And we always, in my family, we always called them pigs in a blanket. I don't know why. It's like, it's, this is not just a Ukrainian dish. It is a Polish dish. It's also a Hungarian dish. <gasps> oh my gosh, so good. We've had them in Poland and Slovakia. These taste so good. Ukrainian cabbage rolls and guests. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of flack in the comments for this statement. Wait, did we not have them in Poland? I mean, we did, but... I think there's a lot of dispute of where this dish originated, but I don't think we can trace back to where it actually started. Because it's so good, everybody wants to take credit for it. True. Maybe. Wrong on everything. Okay, I already have it all in my hands. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. This is very hands on. I think this looks pretty good. We're gonna pop it into the oven for like 45 minutes. And now we're going to work on the borscht. It says we need five cups of shredded cabbage. That'll be either all of this or most of it. Ha ha! While the cabbage is cooking in broth, and peppercorns and a bay leaf. We are going to saute the vegetables separately in a different pan and then add them to the soup, which is like so different from any other type of soup I've ever made. Potatoes on the cooktop. Mm -hmm. well, I've never seen this before. We kind of messed up. I told Zach to put the potatoes in this pan with the carrots and the onions, and I was not supposed to do that. So I think we have to make room for the beets in here. Like they're just not gonna fit right now. So I think we should put some of that in with the cabbage. Knowledge is power. <laughs> Lots of splashing. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's about to get really messy. I'll do it. You will? Yeah, I'll do it. You will? Hey, you better not do it. Ooh. Ooh. So is this where, uh, I don't know. This there is we where go. red shirts came in back in the day. Mm -hmm. Time for me to take over. And apparently, ah, oh, it's like burning my hands. So in order to get, I should probably not put that in our soup. <laughs> to be juice out of your hands, you have to rub them in lemon. Look, look at your hands. I don't know, your thumb looks pretty regular now. Okay, let's look again. Yeah, it definitely is working. I've always said beets smell like dirt, like in a good way. No, what is this? Your whole mouth's gonna be red now. It tastes really good. I've never eaten this great beet before. You're crazy. All right, here's all of the beets. This is completely overflowing with red goodness. And this was never going to be perfect. It's gonna overflow, that's what's about to happen. <laughs> oh. Wow, yes. It's gonna be beet red. Just a pot. A blood soup. Ugh. So our blood soup, oh sorry, borscht soup is simmering away and the last thing we have to add to it is vinegar, dill, like a fourth cup of dill, and a large clove of garlic. They're dense. I thought there was gonna be a lot more liquid. It is just red thick soup. We'll serve it up with the classic Ukrainian condiment, sour cream. And we did it! Seven hours later. Has it been seven hours? It feels like it. It's probably been five, but this is still a really long time. This soup looks amazing. It is like a shade of purple red. I don't think you could make in a kitchen. Cheers. How hot is really hot? Mm, very strong beet flavor. <coughs> yeah. What? What is that reaction? Whoa. Okay, so the thing we did wrong. We cut vegetables too big. Which in our no. defense, like it already took too long. It was gonna take seven hours. It took anyways. a long time. So, but this is like chili almost. It is you know? really thick. It the broth itself thickened up a lot. The borscht has a really strong dill flavor, which I think is bringing it together. I think it's really, really good. Maybe not exactly what we were tasting in Ukraine, but I think for a made at home version, we did okay. I just wonder where it went wrong. It has to be the size of a vegetable. Yeah, I agree. Winner. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. 
So many textures. The cabbage is too crispy. Just like it crisp. has too much bite. I love the bite. That's the only complaint I have about Ukrainian. Really? Yeah. Is that it's too mushy? Yeah, it's too mushy. And so it's just this like, why is this in my mouth feeling that I normally have? But this is like, you get the fresh vegetable with the meat and all the sauces. But it does taste awfully nice. Like such simple flavors, it's literally just onion and tomato with pork and beef wrapped in cabbage. And the rice. And the rice. But the rice doesn't have much flavor. The rice has the texture. This is what I'm looking for in this whole dish. In Ukraine, we kind of reach for the salt a lot when we mm. bought this. And so this yeah. is really nice because it already has the salt in it and the texture is just so good. Mm. Crunchy, soft, chewy. Yeah. Yeah. So which one do you, you like more? I mean, that's both really good. But I think. Oh, that's so hard. Okay. I love cabbage Same rolls. Here. It's hearty. This is what you need for a cold Ukrainian winter. And I think you yes. perfected that here. I think so too. I think this is overall success. But I think everything we do is overall <laughs> success. You need to let us know. <laughs> this was a success thank you so much for watching uh cooking videos are not our forte i mean we're trying we really are trying they're like really stressful if, if you have any recommendations on what we should do different in cooking videos or we should add in let us like, know we went to three different grocery stores do we add that in i don't know like you tell us what do you think but i think we had a lot of fun this is going to be delicious this is a cabbage heavy meal it is Diggity. It's hard to cook with a camera in front of you. Popsicles, ice cream, popsicles, ice cream, popsicles. <laughs> it looks fake. Like it looks like a color you can't make in a kitchen. 